So yes everyone, good morning, hello Morgan, bonjour, and today we're at Brussels Media Station in Belgium. I'm on holiday here, I thought I'd take a couple of days off of my busy schedule. And today we're going to play a very, very, very special episode of Transport Wheeler. Only the second, <laughs> or the third, this, is, this now marks the third country we're playing Transport Wheeler in. Brussels has a very extensive transport system. Um, we have uh, the metro, of course, you've got... Uh, this thing called the pre-metro, which is essentially just trams running on the ground that become proper trams when they get outside, and they also have buses as well. So we've got quite a. F it's a, it is a very extensive transport network for not too much of a big city. If this is the main station here, we will not be getting a train from here today, as the ticket I purchased does not cover uh, the main station, sadly. So yes, um, let's see what we roll first. Bus, bus number five, closest bus to number five. And we are going south or westbound for six stops. Uh, we've got a massive bus station here, so we just need to find the bus route that's closest to five and go southbound or westbound on it for six stops. Bus station, tram station. It's very cool, isn't it? We're not getting a tram from here today, we're getting a bus. <coughs> It must be in this part of the station, and we're getting the 48 uh, bound for Anasong, and we are getting that uh, in towards Brussels city centre. I just need to find the bus stop. There it comes. A bus is 48 to Anasong. We're taking the six stops in towards the city centre. Well, that was nice, that was a really speedy bus ride, I quite enjoyed that. And first time on an um, articulated bendy bus in quite a while. This is Grand Place, bus stop, also known as Grottermarkt in Flemish. Uh, we've got two bus routes available here, the 33 bound for Dunsart and the 48 we just got off bound for Anderson. It is a Sunday today, so you do public transport. Maybe slightly less frequent than the usual placing threshold at 15 minutes. I guess we'll roll again. What have we got from here? We have a bunch of buses. We've got the 95, we've got the 33, we've got the 48, which has just come off 52. So we shouldn't have any trouble at all finding our next mode of transport, which is uh, likely to be a bus. Brussels Central Station is a five minute walk away, uh, but that is just the uh, National Rail Station. I think that is about it. Here comes a 33. This is probably not going to be our bus. It's one of it. It's an electric bus, I believe that one. Okay, moment of truth. Challenge: buy an item from McDonald's unique to Belgium. That is something that we need to accomplish. Well, uh, by the <laughs> by the end of today, we need to buy an item from McDonald's which is unique to Belgium. So if you see a McDonald's. Let me know. It's not quite lunchtime yet, in fact I've just had breakfast. Uh, so I don't think it's McDonald's time quite yet. Uh, so I guess we'll roll again uh, to find our next mode of transport. Tram? I don't believe we're going to get that here. Are you at a location more than three routes available? No we are not, we've only got the bus available. How about the quickest route to Brussels Central? Uh, that's just a five minute walk away, so that's quite convenient. So we're going to Brussels Central, from there we've got Suburban Rail, if we do roll it. Uh, we have um, the Metro, we have the tram, we have plenty of buses as well. Let me find my way there. <laughs> Crikey, it's the Rosses. And those buses, they are so fast. Not because, I mean, their drivers are fast as well, but um, they use... Um, special tram lanes, so 
uh, when all the rest of the traffic has got a red light but the trams have got a um, green light, the buses can go through as well. It's really cool and it's segregated and it's very very nice. I'm just walking up this hill, uh, I believe this is the way to Boston Central Station. It's only about a 5 minute walk so it's really really not very far at all. Which is a plenty good to go from here. Is this a central station? Because there's Boston Central Station, there's also a big shopping mall called um, Gas and Trial, which I really hope we don't have to get lost on. I hope it's not another giant version of Canary Wharf that I've seen in some other European cities. So this is the central station in Brussels, but it's not the biggest station in Brussels. Well, it's quite pretty inside, isn't it? But it looks very dull from the outside. It's a very busy, 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 busy station. If you're planning on coming to Brussels and you are planning on watching some trains, then here is a very, very good place to come because there are a lot of regional trains that come through here. Anyway, let's roll for what we're going to do next. Just get down into the main station concourse, shall we? I don't really know the network well enough to be able to judge how good the choice is, but um, I've just rolled again. Metro 1, southbound slash westbound, six stops. This is the sign for the Metro. Hopefully, I'll get to show you the metro Dunkin Donuts, you don't get those in the UK very often do you? The metro line, closest to metro line number one, southbound the westbound for six stops Just from these initial shots, do you prefer the Brussels metro or do you prefer the London Underground? You might, cha <laughs> you might change your mind when we get down to the platform because the trains are very very cool as well We've got uh, one service bound for Gardelest West Station, which has just arrived. Apparently. Yep, oh, it should be here very soon. Let's have a look at this train. I'm getting big Bursey Roll vibes for some reason. One for West Station, one minute. Here comes our train just coming around the corner. Such a cool train. And we're getting this all the way to the terminus of um, Gardelest. There's another one pulls up alongside us. in the summer, it's quite cold today, so maybe not very useful, but... <laughs> Pre-metro, those are the lines 3 and 4, the sort of tram lines that run underground into New York, yeah. We go on those later. This is De Brocaire. goes our train. This is a terminal station, I think the train's going to do a little thing in the siding or something like that. Just have a look, there's only one bus route that actually serves a station which amazes me because it's quite a big station. It's a big um, intercity transport interchange also. A lot of intercity buses to from there as I found out and they are fairly frequent as well. Um, so that means uh, available to us we have the metro lines, the pre-metro lines 
uh, and also um, just this one bus route, uh, which I believe is the 86. Um, so if we roll bus, we know that we are getting the 86. We've rolled metro, we've rolled the metro line number 8, and we're going north or eastbound for 9 stops. So what metro lines do we have here? We've got the 2 and the 6. We also have the 82. Yeah, well the closest I believe is going to be metro line number 6. Which doesn't mean going upstairs. So I've got this one train which has come back. Is that a metro line 6 that's just pulled in behind it? I don't know, but we'll go upstairs and over and transfer to metro line number 6. There is a train behind it as well, this is uh, train number 1, so hopefully we don't miss that one if it is a 6. These trains look, look so cool though, I don't know. This is the Esperan station, it's looking quite empty today, maybe it's shut. We're going northbound or eastbound, weren't we? That's my hotel card, I don't want that. I want my train ticket. Let's see. Get yeah, a train ticket. Tap it on here. And you can go through. These stations are very cool. This is a two, this is not the train we want. We're gonna get the next one. It's proper old metro trains, aren't they? Very boxy. Oh, and you open the doors manually on these as well. That's going to be so cool. I think the red dots on the map represent the positions of the trains. So there should be a train arriving just now. That's cool, isn't it? Get another feature you don't get in London. Here comes our train. Our train number six. Yes, 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 yes. Turning and we're going to be getting this uh, to Hazel, uh, which is one stop before the terminus. That very cool building there is called the Atomium. One of Brussels' most famous tourist attractions, and we're arriving at the station nearby called Hazel. I can already see that there are some um, pre metro trams available. Hopefully, there'll be some buses available as well. Such a cool train, 10 out of 10 would recommend. All the trains have been on today have been very cool, I've enjoyed them thoroughly. Um, but our journey is far from over today, this is obviously quite a big tourist attraction. We've got not only the Atomium, um, but we have an attraction called Mini Europe as well. And Design Museum Brussels, that might be, so that's my sort of thing. However, it's also telling us that we have some bus routes available, I'm not too sure which ones, and we also have the Tramline 7 available. The station has three platforms, maybe they terminate some trains in here sometimes. Got another train coming in. Not in service. Okay, time to remember, we still need to get something from McDonald's that is unique to Belgium. Tram 13, northbound slash eastbound, six stops. So that is going to be the tram number seven, which I believe is just across the bridge here. 
and we'll get that north slash eastbound for 13 stops. That will probably take us to the terminus. Beep. Departing in five minutes. Tramers. So hopefully we should be able to get, to get a seat. It's a good place to watch trains actually here, isn't it? Line six heads towards Elizabeth. Hazel departing in four minutes, bound for Van Kendra. Let's figure out where, where this tram actually goes. It's got lots of platforms, just the one uh, tram line. Deep, and the doors open, I just need to push on. Again, back on one of these stylish trams. Yeah. The map anyway, it would be nice. Be very in the background. There. We're getting some remarkable 13 stops, aren't we? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're going to Shazan. Which is there. No idea quite where that is. It's in the Sharbuck area near where I was yesterday. That was a long tram ride, we were on that for about 20 minutes, I think. Anyway, we're here at Shazai, um, in the middle of Sharbek, somewhere. Um, we are, as the map tells us, we are where the arrow is in relation to the rest of Brussels. Uh, so we're sort of on the outskirts. Um, let's see what there is here. I think there are buses available. Um, so yeah, let's see what we're on next. Okay, tram 14, northbound slash eastbound for nine stops. So we get, are we getting back on the same tram again? We have to go back to Hazel because the next tram eastbound is in more than 15 minutes time. Let's watch how this tram has priority at this junction. It's just so lovely. All the cars stop across the whole junction and the tram comes through. And when the tram stops, all the lights turn red, all the lights turn green again for the cars to go. Oh, we've just got to. Oh, it's two different spellings for this place again. It's got our, uh, of our seven. For when did we get on Shazar? And we are now at Ramboshi. Uh, and from here, we only actually have the tram available. We've got no buses available, we've only got the tram available. Another tram just come by a, literally a couple of minutes, only a couple of minutes after the last train, last tram had gone. I'm just, um, yep, no one got on, no one got off. <laughs> Is that one heads off? Are you at a location with more than three routes available? Says the program. I've just been rolling and rolling because it wasn't giving us tram, and that's given us this. We are not. We only have two routes available, even if you count. We have to head by the quickest route to Brussels Vest. What's the quickest way to get to Brussels Vest? Let's consult the map. So the way it's telling us to go is to get the free to de Brucker, which will be arriving any minute now. And from there get either the line one or the line five to Godloes. So it should be a nice easy run. Um, back on the metro, back on the metro, it's gonna be very nice. Also hopefully we'll find the McDonald's there as well. This is our tram number 4065. 
There is a McDonald's at the Pukair, so I think we're gonna go there. That rhymes. Is this not all of it? It does. Oh. We've actually gone one step further down the line to a uh, Bus Grand Plus simply because it's slightly closer uh, to the <laughs> McDonald's. It's now lunchtime, so it's a good time to come here. Um, look at this. It's a bi level platform. Is there another free service gone for us? No, that departs. Right, we, let's find this McDonald's, shall we, and get some lunch. There's a bit of, again, a bit of clumping going on. So here comes another tram. Another Stall. 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 This is like the most Dutch thing I've seen, like <laughs> gigantic underground parking for bicycles before you get on the train. And it's like it's not just parking, it's repairs and all that as well. That's brilliant, there's more, even more parking over there. I see some Dutch influences in Belgium as well. That's a very nice touch. <laughs> McDonald's, and we are here for a reason. We are here to buy a unique item uh, a, or a unique I a menu item to Belgium. So I've seen the menu enough times in the UK. Should be relatively straightforward to see uh, what's what's unique here. The unique menu item what we're getting from here. I believe it's called a McMoment, which is sort of like a bagel beer thing. Um, the contact list on these things is strange, isn't it? It's there. It has arrived. Let's see how our bagel burger thing is. Yeah, it is a bagel burger. I've also got some. <laughs> Nuggets and some chips for myself. All the vegetarian stuff here was ridiculously expensive, so I didn't get it. I usually would have got vegetarian. It's got six euros for a burger. We'll just leave a few McDonald's behind. Let's go, shall we? It's. Yeah, it's raining a bit, so it's not going to be particularly pleasant. It's just a four minute walk up the road back to the Brookhouse station. Um, Bourges Grand Place and De Brooke, where we were originally supposed to get off and change to the Line 1 or the Line 5. Um, they are right next to one another, they're as close together as Covent Garden and Leicester Square are. Ooh, we're both having a lovely time. We've got a whole slice of granola bar. The book. Now we've got Investation. You see, it's nice when you actually know how to use the trains now, because yesterday I was a bit in sort of whether I tap my card, which line goes where. Oh dear. What was that about? I don't know, but it let me through. <laughs> Perfectly on cue after I stop recording is not going to be our train. I thought it was going to be our train because I keep thinking the metro is left hand running, but the metro is not left hand running, the metro is right hand running. This is on the line 5, bound for Hermann de Brew.
blue flooring things. Lights. Blue lights. She needs to mine the gap. Very stylish interiors as well. Deja vu. Turn heads back off to the depot. I think this is where we're going to finish our transport roulette today. It's been so much fun exploring the network today. We've seen a bit of everything today. Um, if you want to see more of the videos from Brussels, there'll be plenty, plenty of those on my channel. Um, they should be uploaded. Some of them might be uploaded already, some of them might not be. Um, I've got a lot of uploads planned from Brussels. That best station always plays music, doesn't it? Uh, anyway, I'll see you all next time. Have a, lo have a lovely rest of the day, and I look forward to working back to the channel soon.